Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss my new videos. So last month, my company sent me to Dubai for a trip. This was my first time to Dubai so I was a bit excited. Arriving at the airport already got me mind blown. Dia bagi pin, okay? Ha, tak payah susah-susah nak cari pin yang dah hilang tu. At the arrival hall, there was already someone waiting. Kereta. That's my boss. <laughs> Then we drove to our accommodation, which is just 5 minutes from the airport. This is my hotel. Ibis. Here are city center. Just the opposite is Kafu. Welcome to the Casa for seven days. Ibis di Bursa. Selalu Ibis tu kecil je. Pernah duduk Ibis kat Singapore. Ya Allah, nak seorang tak pun susah. Toilet tu pun best. Cantik. Tapi tak ada shampoo. Ada sabun char. Okay lah. That night, we went for dinner just opposite of the hotel. The best thing about this hotel is its location, which is at the city centre Dira, and it's only five minutes from the metro station. I always prefer taking the public transportation, you can get the 7 day pass for 135 dirham. <laughs> I love their metro. I will talk more about it in another video. We have arrived at the station. Immediately you will see signs heading towards the Dubai Mall. It was quite a walk from the metro station to Dubai Mall. That's why you can see all of these travelators. Dubai Mall is sort of like the main mall here just because of its location next to Burj Khalifa. But it's like any other typical mall I guess that we could find here in Malaysia. Some key differences that you can find such as this installment which is a fountain. Shake shack. Boleh makan. Tak nandun tak boleh makan. You can feel the splatter from the water. The second most interesting thing here is the souk, or in English would be the market. The interior here is completely different from the rest of the mall. It looks like a classical Arabian market in the olden days. But of course the stores here are all modern. They have Cheesecake Factory. Cool. We could try and eat that. Dinosaur. Where's the head? Ah, tiny head. As I mentioned, there's a Cheesecake Factory here at the Souk. I've always wanted to go when I was in the US before. So since this one is completely halal, so why not I give it a go? I had 
to sit at the bar because it was full during dinner. From this restaurant, you can actually have a very good view of the aquarium, which is another attraction in this mall. Turkey burger, rice. Next is the third most interesting thing here in Dubai Mall. That shark is huge. This aquarium has over 400 sharks in them. It is the biggest indoor aquarium in the world. It is also home for hundreds of manta rays. Look at that smiling guy. This guy here kind of looks like he's singing. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Next, we're going to the most iconic place in Dubai. If you go to the Apple store and head out to the balcony, this is the view that you're gonna get. If you go down the escalator, head out the doors, then you will go to the bridge. Great view of the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Mall. It's an apple store. The bridge itself is stunning with all its architecture. This is actually the best spot to get a picture of the Burj Khalifa from the bridge. But don't be like these two, they were hogging the area for so long just to take pictures. Sorry, sorry. Another good view would be from the below deck of the bridge, which is from here. Be sure to catch the light show at the Burj Khalifa from 7.45, 8.45 and 9.45 every Wednesday to Sunday. The show will only up to March this year. Don't leave yet because then there's the fountain show. This guy was so tall and he was blocking everybody's view. The best view for this show would be from the traditional boat that you can take surrounding the lake. So you will be in the middle of the fountain when this happens and that would be amazing. I searched online and it only cost less than a hundred ringgit so I guess that's pretty okay. Considering how expensive everything is in Dubai, that is. Now let's enjoy the show for a bit.
Another wonderful thing I find here in this mall is that they have live Azan prayer call. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next videos where I will talk about all these other things that I've done during my first trip to Dubai. See you next time. Bye.